Well, we're lovely and refreshed after our midday nap. And as we've been blessed with another ridiculously sunny day on the Isle of Mole, it's not the ideal photographic conditions to be shooting by the water or anything. So we've come to a place called Aros Park, which means that we can walk through woodland and everything that's in shade will be a little bit brighter. So let's see what we can find. Well, we've just done a little walk around the lock and apart from being absolutely stunning, there wasn't loads doing in terms of wildlife photography. I did spend a nice 15, 20 minutes with a couple of tree creepers, which was lovely. And there was a very curious little robin and a very loud heron that I could hear. But apart from that, mostly just a nice walk. We're off to hopefully find a little waterfall walk, but uh, we're currently lost. You'll know if we make it there due to the upcoming footage. Well, we're not where we're supposed to be, but look at this lovely view of Tobermory. If you can't see that, I'm hoping that Dev will let me use one of his photos that he's taking right now. Glorious. Whilst I've not had much luck for wildlife here, it really is beautiful. And if you've got the eye, like my friend here Dev has, there's certainly some beautiful shots to be had. So if you're on the Isle of Mull and for some reason you've got the weather like we've got, where it's just blazing sunlight, I would very much recommend a visit to Arros Park to spend an hour or two in the woodland by some water. Right, we're hungry. We're off to Tobermory. It's time for fish and chips. Well, we absolutely demolished what wasn't fish and chips in the end because the weather is so hot that we didn't even fancy fish and chips. So we went for lemon goujon sandwiches with a side order of scampi. And my God, was it nice. Right, now we're off to look for some otters and for Dev to test his drone skills at a waterfall. Let's go. <laughs> Yet another very beautiful waterfall and some lovely shots to be had. Right, now we're off to look for otters. Wish us luck. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, whilst looking for otters, we've just had... Well, we've still currently got two unbelievably close red deer stags. We've stopped the car. We're going to try and get some footage and some photos. They're so close! about to say no otters and then this happened ridiculous experience we're the only ones on this part of the island seemingly this evening which is so rare for the Isle of Moor and we spotted an otter it was feeding out well you've seen all the footage um, we positioned ourselves absolutely perfectly the otter came out to us oh god I feel so unbelievably privileged to have witnessed that is the closest I've ever been to an otter. I've been to this island four times now, and I've got good otter shots. I've had unbelievable experiences with an otter, but oh, something about the fact that we found it ourselves, there's no one else here, and just the proximity. I mean, it came towards us. We weren't blocking off anything. Oh, yes! God beautiful right we're planning to spend the next 30 minutes 45 minutes to do a bit of wader photography and then we've got hopefully about 45 minutes to play with before the sun goes down we're going to spend that at a short eared owl location oh there's some very loud oyster catchers around here right now it's time for waders <laughs> Thank you. 
And with those short eared owls, that brings to a close this amazing day of photography on the Isle of Mull. I mean, even for this place, I've been particularly lucky with everything I've been able to see and capture today. It's just been absolutely amazing. I mean, exhausting. Been out from 4 a.m. until it's just past 10 p.m. now. But look at this place. <sighs> so good. Right, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.